to Marinated Kitchen. My name is Margarita and today I want to share with you how to make my favorite Puerto Rican dish. It's called Vite en Cebollao. It's really good, easy to make, and I'm going to show you my twist. Instead of making it on the stove, I like to dump everything with my marinade and make it in the oven. Let me show you how to make this. It's so good. You're going to love it. To make this recipe, you will need three pounds of thin sandwich steak, two large onions peeled and sliced, cut into rings, one fourth cup of olive oil and apple cider vinegar, one fourth cup of water. You're gonna need one teaspoon of oregano, cumin, onion powder, sea salt, and black peppers, one tablespoon of garlic paste, Two tablespoons of sofrito. Omit this if you don't have sofrito since you're adding onion and garlic. Eight ounces of tomato sauce. Add all the ingredients into the food processor except the onions and the tomato sauce and blend it for about 30 seconds. Here we're just adding all the ingredients into the blender. It doesn't matter which order you put in the ingredients, but as I mentioned, please do not add the onions and the tomato sauce since we're gonna add it at the end. And I would just mix it very well for about 30 seconds, so this way all the flavors could combine together. And as I mentioned, if you don't have the sofrito, it's fine since we're adding all these good flavors combined. It's gonna make up for the sofrito if you don't have it, and you're adding the garlic, which is gonna give it a good taste. Here, I like to add the marinade to the bottom of the pan. And one by one, I'm gonna start adding all the steak, just so the steak will start, you know, gathering the flavor of the marinade. And we're gonna repeat this process over and over. And just continue until you're done with the meat and the marinade. And just make sure it covers well. I like to marinate my meat for an hour. Um, best flavor is if you marinate it overnight, but sometimes you don't have the time and you know, you have your family that's hungry. So one hour would do fine. My preference, as I mentioned, is overnight if possible. I like to cook the meat at 400 degrees for an hour. After the 30 minutes, I like to turn it. So this is how it's going to look. So this meat's been cooking already for 30 minutes, and here I add the tomato sauce and the onions. After an additional 30 minutes, you're gonna check the meat and turn it and make sure everything's cooking fine. And once I add the onions, I like to add a little bit of sea salt and some black peppers for additional flavor. I'm gonna cover it, put it back in the oven. After an hour of the meat cooking, this is the result you're going to get. The tomato sauce just gives it a nice flavor. See how tender the meat is? Thank you for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. It's so good, you're gonna love it. Don't forget, you can make this, you can meal prep, you can serve it on top of rice, have it on the side with a nice salad, make some plantains, which we call tortones. Enjoy it. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thank you again for stopping by the Marinated Kitchen. Bye.